Hello everybody, so today we are talking about the Alesis Strike Amp 8 for e-drums or whatever you choose to do with it. Um, I bought it because of I was looking for what I thought was going to be a small amp that I could carry to take anywhere for because at church it was getting a little tiring to take my bigger amp, so... I thought, you know what, I will see if I can find something smaller, and I saw this, and I thought, oh, that's not bad. Well, I thought it was half the size than it is, um, and it's right here. Oh, yes, all right, here's my Alesis. This is my amp. Um, I bought it, like I said, I bought it, uh, I bought it from Long and McQuaid. <laughs> Once again, I will promote where I get things. So let's go to Long and McQuaid, and I probably paid what it says there for it. I don't remember anymore. I'm sh I wrote a review for it, so one of these one of these two reviews is mine. Um, I will include a link again. This is all Canadian. I understand that most of my audience is American, but I feel that I need to promote Canadian. You can get this on Amazon as well, which is where I saw it first, but it was the same price. So I decided to go Canadian. Um, yeah, I'm doing that more often because I feel that I need to I need to be a little more patriotic than I am. So this the Elisis. All right, so let's talk about. Oh, gee, it is way heavier than I thought it was. So you can see that there. Let me just lower this down. So as you can see, it has it has two inputs. And it has an output, so it's an XLR output. It's and two inputs on it. So the output is more or less just a straight line out output, where it would send it to, uh, you know, you send it to like a different another speaker, another power amp, and you can then amp it. And it's now granted, it's not left and right. It's one speaker. It's an eight-inch speaker. You can get the twelve-inch. I didn't want the twelve-inch. Didn't need it, but you can get uh, so. Yeah, so then you have your controls at the top here for the volume on each one. And it's it's pretty simple. And it has a contour. There's the contour. The contour simply is just a quick a little EQ. So you boost the treble in the treble in the bass and you lower the mids. And it also has a ground if you're having buzzing issues. Now, the one thing that I don't understand, I don't think I have the oh I do have the cable here for it. Alright, so this is Bottom, you got fuse, on, off, and plug. So the output. What I don't understand is why, yes, I put my Velcro on it. Of course, I have to. Um, what I don't understand is why they always do this, where now the switch is covered by the output. Why they couldn't have built it so it's this way. I kind of get it because you want it this way so that when you lean it, because this is an angled amp, then you can angle it and then it's covered. It's not getting knocked over but it just drives me nuts because now the on off switch is covered um i i never get that so this it is a lovely amp like i said i thought it was half the size um but i'm not complaining because it oh, let's go back up now it actually sounds really good and so what i did was i got i had to take a picture of it i didn't want to just video it but what I did was to to try to, to try to give you a sense of how it sounds. I took my Rode mic, my Rode NT1, and I just kind of pointed it in a little bit of space. So it's about six feet away from the speaker. You'll see the picture. I'm going to put the speaker pic, picture up now while I'm talking. And I just simply recorded it. I recorded it that way. I just did it straight in. Um, at the end of this, I have a quick video of me playing it playing through it so you get an idea i do find it sounds better one thing i did i had trouble with on all my other um speakers all my other amplifiers for my e-drums is my tom sounded really freaking loud and i couldn't get it I, like it didn't matter how lightly i hit it they sounded loud but in this uh, for some reason on this speaker it kind of leveled it out and it sounds good i did a little bit of that now I'm also I also took a picture of my setup over there, 
and you can kind of see a little bit of it in, in my back here, but I'll show you the picture. So what I have done is because my, my, um, my drum set, the E drums over there, it's, everything's avatar there. Uh, the E drums are, they only have a headphone out. I, that's the way they came. I plugged the how headphone out into the auxiliary in on the pads, which are at the top. And then I use the pads are now controlling the the uh, speaker, which is a great idea, which is the best idea I've ever had because it. I'm wondering if that actually helped for the why the tom sounded so loud too. So then the speakers are now the the, the toms are now or the pads. The pad is now controlling the volume for everything. So that is the main that's the main control, and then everything comes output out, out of there into the speaker. So. Let's play the video, and that's it for me. Um, I love it. It like there's a there's a twelve there's a twelve inch speaker version as well. Um, oh yeah, I should also include before I quit. It does have a spot to put it on a on a pole on a post whatever. Um, I'm not using it for that. I might get I might get one down the road. I don't need it right now. So. That's my video. Uh, talk to you later. Bye. I have to move.